A very good afternoon and welcome here to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. Great to be back here in an arena that has been home to so many tremendous and exciting moments in boxing, specifically with Premier Boxing Champions. And lo and behold, we are back with PBC on Fox Sports Pay-Per-View on Saturday, October 15th, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, is when we go live on Pay-Per-View in our main event of the evening, the highly anticipated return of the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder steps inside the ring yet again as he will collide against the Nordic nightmare Robert Hellenius, that being in our main event of the evening. This card is absolutely loaded on Saturday, October 15th. Why? Because not only do we have a dynamic main event, but our co-main event can be a main event anywhere around the world because we have a matchup in the super middleweight division between two former champions. The returns of Caleb Sweethands Plant as he will make his way inside the ring, across the ring from him on Saturday, October 15th, will be Anthony the Dog Durrell. Now tickets are available right now. You can purchase them on SeatGeek.com, BarclaysCenter.com, or if you are here, in the New York, Brooklyn area. You can purchase them in person at the American Express box office here at Barclays Center. Now, just to give you an idea of the ramifications of both fights, both Wilder and Hellenius and Plant and Durrell are eliminator fights. So they are both eliminator fights, Wilder Hellenius in the heavyweight division for Plant and Durrell in the super middleweight division. It's all being promoted by Bomb Squad Promotions and TGB Promotions presented by Premier Boxing Champions. With that being said, I want to introduce one half of our co-main event. This man with a record of 34 wins, two defeats, 25 victories coming by way of knockout. He comes to us, he's very proud of where he is from, Flint, Michigan, a two-time WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World looked absolutely sensational as he knocked out Marcos Hernandez last November in the lead up to this fight. He doesn't have to come up to the podium. He can sit at his chair, but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former super middleweight champion of the world, Anthony the Dog Terrell. <laughs> Eddie, how you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, just ready to fight, ready to be some ass. All right, well, I will talk with Anthony Durrell in a few moments as we want to bring up his adversary on Saturday, October 15th on Fox Sports BBC Pay-Per-View. This man, a near-perfect record, 21 wins, 12 of those coming by way of knockout against one defeat. He comes to us right outside of Nashville, grew up in Ashland City, Tennessee, now training and residing in Las Vegas. Former IBM Super Middleweight Champion of the World who captured his title by having a thoroughly dominating performance against Jose Luis Uscatiki. He would subsequently go on to defend his title on three occasions successfully, and he makes his return to the ring after a very competitive matchup against Canelo Alvarez last November in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former IBM Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Caleb Sweethands of Plant. Caleb, how are you feeling? Yeah, you just want to give your thoughts? Yeah, feeling good. Um, you know, I want to thank Al Heyman. want to thank Luis Cubas Jr. Um, feels good to be back on Fox. Shout out to the Barclays. You know, appreciate you having me. This will be my first time fighting in New York. And um, I'm looking to do so in impressive fashion come October 15th. Um, you know, this guy, he's kind of funny to me. He's got a lot to say about me. He says, you know, I hate him. And... You know, I know that's a strong word, but I do, I hate him. And, you know, he irks me. I guess I irk him because, you know, I, I may not hold hands with everyone else in my weight division and, you know, be all buddy-buddy with him and, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't know what his deal is with me. Um, he, he's got a lot to say about me. He, but the thing is, he, he don't even know me. I never kicked it with him, never hung out with him. He, he don't even know me. So um, October 15th is definitely going to be fireworks. You He's gonna even be running, now. man. Stop it. Sounds you good. Running. Sounds good. You running. So, you know you but, running. Uh, you ain't never you know, sat there he, with he, nobody. Even on, even on his nobody. social media the other day, you know, he had the nobody. Bernard Hopkins versus Joe Kozaki thing. You ain't never thing. sat there with nobody. Um, Run. You know, 
saying, I'll never let a white boy beat me. I'll never let a white boy beat me. And, you know, boxing nor life has ever been about race or color to me. But you remember what happened in that fight, right? Since that's what you wanted to post up. Do you remember? So, you know, like I said, it ain't never been about race or color to me. Run. But come October 15th, when I do beat him, it won't be because I'm white. It won't be because of what I look like. It It won't have nothing to do with none of that. It'll be because I'm better than him. It'll be because I'm better than him. That's why I'm going to beat him. But he already knows that, and that's why he hates me. Because like I said, he don't know me personally. He don't know me enough to hate me, so why, why would you hate me unless you know that you can't fuck with me? That's why he hates me. He's going to really hate me on October 15th. So, so Anthony, we, we heard Caleb go ahead and give his thoughts on, you know, there seems to be some bad blood between you two, but from your perspective, where does this all stem from? Yeah, so... I mean, w- w- was there a yeah, specific, so, was I there mean, like, you name somebody that liked them? Nobody likes him, man. Nobody. And again, Canelo he make it, he, he making a point to, Canelo you know, let everybody you, know he no one in the weight you. class likes Canelo you. And you bro, if you do remember? like, if you do like he Caleb, then, like he was a bitch. and if you do like he him, then you're not in his weight class. Why would I care if anybody in my weight class likes me? Why is that my concern? Well, then why are you saying that? I'm asking, why are you saying that then? Why, why would it be my concern? Because I don't like you. You don't have to like me. Yeah, good. That ain't none of my business right, if you like look, me. Don't, don't, don't worry about my opinion. And, That's and my it, opinion to you. And everyone don't else in the weight, weight class don't like you. him. Well, that ain't none of my business. I don't care nothing about that. I never let another man smack me. That ain't you none crazy. of my concern. You lost so, your mind. So we crown, really, it ain't gonna, it wouldn't even been a fight. You don't even know me. You let another man smack you, you a pussy. You pussy. Shut up. With with the bad blood. Sound good. You pussy. Maybe that's like what I you said, want. You that, maybe that. Maybe you that's his job. Man smack he want to make sure that another at the man end of his smack career, me. He might got the die. He want to make sure at the you end pussy. of his career. Hey, you pussy. You know, I'm Anthony Durrell. You pussy. I never. I'm never gonna yeah, be in the pussy. Hall of Fame. I never had one successful title defense. But hey, everybody in my weight class yeah, like me. You fought tomato cans. Everybody you in my weight class. You fought cab drivers. Who like who's got to get? You, that's what you want to title. I gave, I gave up. your respect for that. U- Uskotsky fucked your brother I up. I gave you respect for that. How many times? I gave you respect Not for once. that. You, you, but you fought getting, cab drivers. He's getting his ass, he's getting his ass beaten the first time. So you weren't supposed to fight me before Canelo, and then you backed out of it. Uh-huh. Stop. Ain't nobody get the fuck out. out of here. I was, you, you know I was supposed to hey, fight you. I don't, I don't hit hard. Shut up. All I you have lying. Is this, all I have is that. You lying. Jose Uskotsky was fucking his brother up. Stopped him the first fight and the second fight. What that and got then to do I, with anything? And then what I come through and do what to Jose Uskotsky. What that got Uskotsky. to do with anything? What I do to Jose Uskotsky. What that got to do with anything? He wasn't even himself. You knew he wasn't himself. Stop it. What yeah, that got to do you, with anything, Hey, though? you beat him, all of a sudden, man, right. I didn't feel myself Caleb, tonight. You Stop guys it, have been, Stop it's, it. this fight has been talked about for a while. In your mind, with the way your career trajectory has gone, did you think that it was inevitable, even dating back to a couple years ago, that you were going to fight Anthony Durrell? Was this a guy that you thought, at some point or another, we're going to lock horns inside the ring against? I mean, I didn't know for sure, but I thought it could be a possibility. But, I mean, you know, with me having a title, he, he couldn't even hang on his title long enough for us to even make a unification Man. fight. He wins the title, he loses it right away. He, he, went, he beats a, a blown-up middleweight it. in Saki Obika, he it. loses it to Badu Jack. He gets it back, he loses it right again. He never had one successful title defense. Who, name so a person you had fought a other than Canelo. Uh, and Uskataki. That's it. I mean, name I mean, a person. We, name a person. Right. I, mean, I have. Now, we, less, we, I we'll less. wait. We'll wait. Let's wait, y'all. Let's wait. How many have you fought? Let's wait. You got twice the fights. Let's wait. I got. But let's wait. You got twice the no, fights. No, but I who got. you fight? With let's 22 wait. fights. I fought the best. Who you fight? Who? Who you fight? Who? But who you fight? Who? No, fuck that. Na- answer my question. Who you fight? Right. Nobody. nobody. You ain't running shit. He just ain't shook nobody his head. Nobody. Y'all get that. Anthony, nobody. It, it sounds to me like you're saying that your experience. Nobody but Canelo. It, it sounds to me He's like mad. you are alluding to mad. the fact that your experience. He's big you feel mad. like your experience is going to play a significant factor in the fight. Is that fair to say that you feel like your experience over fuck the past Fuck experience. I'm going to beat his ass. Fuck experience. I'm beating his ass. Is this he, sound, Anthony, he sounds mad to me. Anthony, is this the most... You raise your hand when you're talking. I'm, I'm going to get back to Caleb momentarily, but Anthony, is this the most emotional fight that you've had in a few years? I mean, is this the most that you've really gotten the adrenaline and the juices flowing for an opponent instead of it being just quote-unquote business, as they say? No. Nah. No, nah, it's, it's just another fight. Uh... 
you know, I'm preparing as any other fight. Uh, come down to it, October 15, he'll see. Caleb, for you, you were obviously in a, in a matchup against Canelo Alvarez, obviously, you know, temper is boiled over there. With this fight, are you taking this from an emotional standpoint? Is it just a, this is a guy that's in front of me and I need to win this fight to continue to try to reclaim my world title? Where is the mindset of Caleb Plant heading into October 15th against Anthony Durrell? Um, you know, I try to approach every fight the same. I treat every fight the same. You know, I'm all in and, um, you know, but I'm focused. I'm focused. I'm motivated. I'm having a great camp. You know, I have my father with me still, who's a great coach. I have Brad Mann, Stephen Edwards with me, who's a great coach. And, um, you know, we got a great game plan put together. We're having a great camp. And uh, I just can't wait for October 15th. I want to acknowledge the camps momentarily. I'm glad you brought up your new trainer, Stephen Bradman Edwards. And, and Bradman, I want to ask you, this is your first fight with Caleb Plant. And I know you guys have been working tirelessly. The one thing I will say about Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell is that their work ethics are tireless and they constantly put time in the gym. But Bradman, for Caleb, what has it been like to work with Caleb Plant and really kind of get on the same page as you prepare for October 15th? Um, it's been a pleasure working with him. Uh, you know, it was funny because, um, you know, when he first approached me, my uh, dilemma was, you know, can I go away, get be away from my kids that long, you know, and um, it has to be a fighter that's worth it. So uh, I went out to Vegas for about a week, and then he came to Philly on two different occasions just to see if we had a chemistry and everything was working. And I was like, wow, this kid is worth it. He's the real deal. You know, I'm an active father in my kid's life, you know, and um, training camp is long and grueling. And my kids are 10 and 11, you know, and I really wanted to make sure to myself, it was more than just money. I wanted to make sure, like, is th does this kid have an upside? Does he put the work in? Um, is he disciplined? Is he confrontational? You know, character means more to me than, um, than just talent. And... Uh, and working with him, man, is a pleasure. You know, uh, hopefully, you know, we can finish this ride together. It's going to be tough for me to even work with other fighters after him because he kind of spoils you. He do everything right, never late to the gym, never has anything negative to say, puts in, you know, the work, and that's all you can ask for out of a kid. The wins and losses take care of themselves, but the work ethic and the road to getting there is the most important thing to me, the journey and the process. And... um this kid's the real deal. You know, his dad did a good job raising him, good job training him. And, um, and I'm not just saying this. Um, it's a pleasure to work with him. He is, he's everything they say he is and then some. And I believe he has the upside. He's 30, but I believe he can get better. And uh, I'm looking forward to this performance on October 15th. Richie, thank you very much. Stephen Bredman Edwards, for you, Richie, uh, can you give us your, you know, synopsis on how camp has been going with the new team, and obviously Caleb and Breadman seems to be on the same page. You're in there in the trenches in training camp, but so far, how's the experience been like with this new team that is Sweet Hands? Uh, it's been great. You know, from the as soon as we met, we, we hit it off. Uh, we've known him for a few years, and um, uh, we were very excited about an opportunity to, you know, for us all to work together, and. Um, you know, camp is just going great. He's a great coach, uh, very smart, got all the experience and the savvy, and um, we work well together. We, you know, our our uh, our thoughts on boxing are pretty much the same, and and um, we say mostly the same thing. He's just kind of a taller, better looking version of me. Oh, you know? I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Plant. Also, before I get back to Team Durrell. Congratulations, Caleb, to you and your lovely wife, Jordan Plant, on the birth of your newborn daughter, Charlie Lynn Plant, that was born five days ago. So congratulations to Caleb and your entire family. Wishing you all the best. I'm gonna turn it over right now to Sugar Hill Stewart, the esteemed trainer of Anthony the Dog Durrell that has been embodied in the fabric of boxing in the Motor City. Sugar Hill, for you and with Anthony, you guys have been to the mountaintop before and looking to get back there in this eliminator fight against Caleb Plant, but 
Has there been any change in the demeanor for Anthony Durrell heading into this fight? Because both men uh, seem to be very charged heading into October 15th from Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. Uh, well, for me, you know, Anthony trains hard, but uh, yeah, obviously, definitely what everybody can see right now, yeah, is something extra uh, with Anthony and, uh, and also with Caleb, you know, so um, if that's what it takes to motivate these guys and for them to put out their best effort, then uh, yeah, I'm happy for it. I'm happy they're both energetic and uh, that means both of them are going to go train hard. Uh, they both have something to prove, and uh, this is exciting for me, training Anthony, that uh, you know he has something to prove, something he wants to accomplish, and uh, him knowing that Caleb is the same way. So this, uh, it just makes for an exciting fight. This is a fight that uh, Anthony said, uh, talked about before, about having this fight. So uh, he had to wait for it, and now it's here, and uh, he's definitely excited and motivated. Well, Anthony, you've been also busy in your off time as well. I saw that you were hanging out with the uh, all-time leader in uh, championships for golf and in the tournaments, Jack Nicholas. you know, getting some lessons on the uh, greens. How was that experience like as you learned some lessons from uh, Jack Nicholas before we get back to talking about business with uh, Caleb Plant? Uh, it was great uh, just to get away for a, a day or so uh, and go out there with one of the greats, uh, get a little bit of motivation to be a great. Uh, so it, it was a great experience. Uh, hopefully there'll be more. So for you, what kind of statement are you looking to make against Kayla Plant on October 15th on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view? Uh, just put on a good performance, be me. Uh, go out there, be the dog, be Anthony. Uh, that's what everybody knows me as. And uh, I'm just going out there and put on a good performance. Caleb, for you, in, in a perfect world, how do you see this fight going? And what kind of statement are you looking to make in your return to the ring on October 15th against Anthony Durrell? I'm looking to put on a great performance, looking to do it in fashion, get my hand raised in fashion, and, um, you know, make a big statement um, as I move forward to, you know, bigger and better fights and looking to clear out the, the rest of the division. With this being an eliminator fight, does it add any extra motivation or... No. No, uh, not, not for me. I mean, it could be, you know, I'm excited for it to be that. Um, I'm in a blessed position for it to be that, but, you know, it doesn't add any, you know, I'm not letting outside factors dictate how motivated I am or how focused or how disciplined I am. That I carry myself in that way, whether it was, you know, a six-round fight, four-round fight, it don't matter to me. I'm coming in focused. I'm motivated. I'm training hard. I got a great team with me. Um, I got a lot of momentum, and um, I'm looking to, uh, like I said, make a big statement come October 15th. Caleb, growing up and, and watching you both evolve, but you specifically in this particular instance, I remember when you were coming up through the ranks as a contender and you were calling out guys and, and you were looking to sign the dotted line against anybody. Now, when it comes to 168, it seems like guys are calling you out. So you went from being the hunter and now people are trying to hunt you. Uh, what has that been like in terms of that full circle transformation? Um, I mean, it just means that I've been doing my job, you know, staying focused and, um, you know, keeping boxing first in my life, whether I have a fight coming up or whether I don't. Um, but at the same time, you know, I've said this in other um, moments before, I, I don't feel like I'm the hunter. You know, I still feel like I'm hunting or I don't feel like I'm the hunter, but I still feel like I'm hunting. And, um, you know, there's still a lot of things that I want to accomplish in the sport, um, a lot of things I want to do. And, um, you know, that's going to take you know, first things first is handling business October 15th. And uh, that's what I'm fully focused on, but then moving on to, you know, whatever's next. AD, what has been the key to your success to be able to fight at such a high level over the course of your career? Because you have literally tried to fight anybody and everybody you've been in the ring against the who's who in the division for years on end. But what has been the key to your success to remaining uh, such a top tier super middleweight over the years? Just, just doing doing what needs to be done outside the ring. You know, no smoking, no drinking type thing. Uh, keeping your body, you know, where it needs to be. So, uh, you do that. You take care of your body. Your body will take care of you. Uh, simple as that. You, you can go. Uh, but I mean, just and staying ready, staying in the gym. Uh, that's my. That, that's what I've been doing since I've been amateur. Staying in the gym. Uh, so I don't have to, you know, stay ready so I don't have to get ready. 
Well, Anthony, Durrell, Kayla, Plant, good luck, gentlemen, in training camp. We will see you on Saturday, October 15th from Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. If you guys can just stand up, look out this way, and allow the cameras to go ahead and take photos. We have Caleb, Sweet Hands, Plant, Anthony, the dog, Durrell, in the super middleweight division. This, may, this could be a main event anywhere in the world. It is the co-main event on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view on Saturday, October 15th from Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. Thank you very much, gentlemen. A round of applause for Caleb Sweethands Plant and Anthony the Dog Durrell. Very much looking forward to fight week at Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. And gentlemen, you know, really appreciate it, guys. And thank you very much for coming out. And now we are going to be joined alongside by our main event of the evening uh, via satellite as we will be talking with, in a few moments, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder along with Robert, the Nordic Nightmare, Hellenius. And we are in the midst of such a great run on Fox Sports. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.